Hey, it's good to see you today. Thanks for joining me. Take five with Pastor Lyle. Let's get right into the Word. We're in Psalm chapter 12, and I uh, hope you've been enjoying this week. Uh, well, there's been a lot of stuff. This is another great portion of Scripture, so let me read it with you. Psalm chapter 12, verse 1. Help, Lord. <laughs> Ever said that before? Help, Lord, for the godly man ceases. For the faithful disappear from the, among the sons of men. They speak idly, everyone with his neighbor, with flattering lips and a double heart they speak. May the Lord cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaks proud things. Who have said, with our tongue we will prevail, our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? For the oppression of the poor, for the sign of the needy, now I will arise, says the Lord. I will set him in the safety for which he yearns. The words of the Lord are pure words, like silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. You shall keep them, O Lord. You shall preserve them from this generation forever. The wicked prowl on every side when vileness is exalted among the sons of men. A lot here in, this, uh, in these verses, so let's look at them. Help, Lord, verse 1, for the godly man, <coughs> excuse me, for the godly man ceases. Consider, uh, it says, for the faithful disappear from among the sons of men. It's not necessarily that they're dying off. It's that they're ceasing to be godly. Do you ever feel like that? Do you ever feel like David felt that where are the people who will stand up for righteousness? You know, people who you thought maybe were righteous or were doing the right thing, and all of a sudden, they're not. They were someone you trusted or someone you believed in, or you believed that, that uh, you know, something great was happening, and their lives were a beacon, they were a light, and all of a sudden, they just seemed to fizzle out, like the bulb just goes out. It's saying the faithful disappearing from among the sons of men, and and believe me, I can understand how David could feel that way. I feel like that sometimes as well. It says that they speak idly. They, they use flattering lips. Uh, they say things uh, to, to sway men, to please men, uh, to gain favor. It's as though they're after the favor of men rather than the favor of the Lord. So how do you gain favor with men? You say whatever man wants to hear so that they'll give you the favor that you're searching for. But the favor with the Lord comes from pursuing him and, and seeking righteousness. You've got a problem if all you're after is seeking the favor of men. That means that you're going to lie or shade the truth or shadow the truth. Because what you're after is someone to, uh, you want people to like you and agree with you. And so you're going to say what you think pleases them. So when they ask your opinion, you won't really have one. Interesting. Verse 4, they said with our tongue, we will prevail. Our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? You know, there's something that we need to realize. We will give an account for every word we speak. So you want to be a foul, a vile, a vulgar, profane type of person. You want to be a lying person who speaks half-truths or partial truths. Uh, you will give an account because you know what? Who is Lord over you? God, the creator of the entire universe. And he will hold us all accountable for what we say. Our lips are not our own. Oh, sure. Okay. Bottom line, yes, they are. You can say anything you want to. You'll be judged for every bit of it. So you can't just expect to go scot-free. You can say anything you want. You can talk any way you want. You can lie. You can deceive. You can flatter. You can uh, do different things. Use your words in different ways. You can destroy. You can hurt people. You can speak bitterness. You can have a venomous tongue. That's fine. It's okay. There you're wrong. But you're going to pay the price for that. Because there is a Lord over you. And he is demanding that you speak things properly. That you speak things rightly. He wants righteousness. 
to come from your lips and not wickedness. I want to encourage you today. I'm going to cut today short. And I'm going to pick up in, in Psalm chapter 12 next Monday. But I want to encourage you today to watch your mouth. It, is, it can get you into more trouble than you can even imagine. Do your best to seek the Lord and prove Him. Speak words that He wants you to speak. Quit being a double-tongued person. There is a Lord over you. Be aware of that. I want to thank you for joining me. Um, God is good, and He wants the best things for you. But what you sow is what you're going to reap. God bless you. Take care. And uh, I'll talk to you on Monday. Bye-bye.